Have you ever heard of PM2.5 particles? Environmentalists, doctors and the media are talking about them nowadays. What is this threat that is literally in the air? Let's get to the bottom of it. The air pollutant PM2.5 is a fine dust which consists of solid particles and small droplets of liquids. The size of these particles ranges from 10 nanometers to 2.5 micrometers. For comparison, the thickness of a human hair is 40 to 120 micrometers. Due to their small size and low weight, they virtually don't settle and are constantly in the air. They are PM2.5 in the forests and at sea, but in the city, they are much more numerous and their chemical composition is much more dangerous. These are tiny pieces of soot, asphalt, car tires, harmful gases, particles of mineral salts, sulfates, nitrates, compounds of heavy metals, allergens, and microorganisms. Soot is one of the most insidious components of PM2.5. It is coal that absorbs toxic compounds from the air, resulting in a particle with a toxic filling. An average city dweller inhales 200 billion of these particles per day. They are so small that they pass through the biological barriers in our body, the nasal cavity, the upper airways, the bronchi. With each breath, they penetrate directly into our lungs and from there directly into the blood. And with the blood, they can be absorbed by any organ. It's not a poison gas, that's why they don't cause an immediate reaction. PM2.5 poisoning symptoms appear unnoticed. You're out of breath a few steps earlier than usual. Sometimes you feel pain in the chest. Your heart races more frequently. But gradually, these tiny particles are deposited in the lungs and blood vessels and cause inflammation, which leads to coronary heart disease, thrombosis, heart attacks and strokes. They also trigger bronchial asthma and lung cancer. The question arises, how can we protect ourselves from this? Should we wear respirators outdoors and install air purification systems at home, which by the way are not cheap at all? In order to clean the air of pollutants, it is necessary not only to equip all businesses with effective air filters, but also to replace harmful materials in construction and production with safe ones. We need to clean the planet of plastic, and chemical pollution. And this is only possible in the creative society. Because only in the creative society will all the latest technologies be available to everyone. And new technologies based on the manipulation of elementary particles, such as the replicator, will be introduced. This will allow us to produce the necessary materials in a matter of seconds and without damaging the environment. Learn more on the Creative Society platform and at the international online forum Global Crisis, our survival is in unity.